Van Augers like Sawyer after our Commodore's life, are you? Caribou assures them, of course not, just bring me to your captain. I'll give him awesome information free of charge. Meanwhile, the Vice Admiral's knowing Bonnie's escape route has a who's the least useless competition, with the winner being the one who captures her. Vice Admiral Tasso looked like he was going to be the winner, but Dorian Bragi pushes him aside easily, once again proving all Vice Admirals are useless. Anyway, they're like, we've come for Straw Hat. Frankie questions, what do you want with my captain? Dorian Bragi deter his worries, clarifying they're warriors of Elba, and I've come to keep the Straw Hat safe. Bonnie's like, Luffy, Sanji, and Vegapunk are in a bind right now, maybe you should help them. Dorian Bragi oblige as the giants head their way. Later. Vegapunk declares, just let me die, I'm a goner. Sanji, noticing how Saturn's form is beginning to change, says, so it looks like you've given up on looking human, huh? There's a strange look in his eyes. Seems like he's completely coated in venom, too. Snapping, Saturn attacks as his body begins to spaz out. Luffy's like, Sanji, get Vegapunk out of here, I got this. However, Kazaru sneaks Sanji, then blasts Vegapunk. Now I'm gonna have to listen to all these recaps talking about how much character development Kazaru has. Luffy's like, what are you doing, Sanji? Get Apple Gramps out of here. Sanji voices, I'm sorry, Vegapunk, as he carries him away. After, Luffy grabs that bum Kazaru and holds off Saturn, remarking, you know there's no way I'm letting you escape, right? Lastly, Sanji's like, don't die on me, Vegapunk. Suddenly, from Vegapunk's lab, a pre-recording begins, stating he's going to tell everyone about the truth of the world. I don't know if I could take this road. And I'm about to lose my mind. Every minute that I die back in time. Every single existence rewinds. Something's a good hit in his eye drive.